so Jade Eye was leading us into the Xbox rumor that will not die. Um, there are rumors abound that scale bound the canceled Microsoft Platinum Games collaboration is back. You're in not funny. L plus ratio plus no 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 maidens. I hope you uh, know what you know. I know exactly what you did, but keep going. Um, it, that it's back in development. This game's coming back. This was after, you know, this game was announced. It's basically, it looked like Devil May Cry with dragons, but it was an action RPG developed by Platinum. People who make a ton of high profile games, like. And like low profile games. Bayonetta. As of late, unfortunately, low profile games. Like, what the heck was that one they just made with Square called? It was terrible. Oh, man. Uh, 2.0 out of 10. Yeah. It was it's, definitely an L. It was supposed to be a game as a service, and it was like, it. It launched so poorly that oh. Square just just like Outriders. No, 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 no. no. That wasn't that wasn't Platinum. That's people can fly. People um, can fly. Yeah, different P. But anyway, uh, this was a very, very, very high profile Xbox exclusive. You know, it was a big deal for Xbox to get a uh, exclusive game from Platinum, especially when it was initially announced. I think which was like like twenty thirteen or something like 2014, that. Yeah. I think <laughs> a long it was time ago. It's been a minute. Then it got canceled. There was rumors that Platinum was using the money for other projects, uh, and which now, was kind of which kind of held up, to be honest. Nier Automata came out whenever it, you know, he made some mistakes. Mistakes were made, is basically what he said. Um, and both sides have seemingly indicated. You know, Phil has said he's open to working with Platinum again. Platinum has straight up said that they would love to do Scalebound again. Do you believe this rumor? It came from one of Jez Corden's. Buddies, who's also been very reliable in the past. I, I know you love never, jazz. I will never ever like buy into leaks or rumors ever. Or I, I will buy into rumors. It's not like the PR guy. I, I we 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 cannot confirm nor deny leaks or rumors. I cannot confirm again. or deny the rumors that have been delayed out front of us. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's cool, right? That the conversation's happening and. Yeah. You know, Xbox and Microsoft are so bad at maintaining their own secrets. I wouldn't be surprised at this mm -hmm. point um, that it is true. I I would like for it to be true. I'm not yeah. going to hope for it, though. See, here's my fear. My fear is it, it would be a really good feel-good moment if this game gets, like, re-announced. The like, scale bounds back. Platinum's developing it. Working with Xbox. This might be a rehearsal for an acquisition, by the way. But here's my fear. The game comes back. Everybody feels great about it. Everybody's hyped. And it comes out and it's like mid. It's like 7.0. Even, even, exactly like even if it's like decent, you know, or, or slightly better than average. The hype and like the legend around this game now is built up so much that if it's not like, if it's not like a 9.0 or above, it's going to be like a huge letdown. You know what's interesting about this game is that like, I'm pretty sure... It would definitely find an audience. You know who I think that oh, audience sure. is? I think it's the same people who love games and franchises like Sonic, Jet Set Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had pretty mainstream appeal. I mean, Devil May Cry looking game it, with it giant, be, dude, it had giant like, freaking dragons, you know, like for gamers. I mean, for, for like, you know, it felt the very 2004 Mountain Dew game fueled sure, energized. Sure. I, I'll agree with that. I think but, the but, audience was there. I think and it, I think it would do well in Japan. It, it, it's yeah. got that like you know crazy over the top style that Platinum does so well, which is it why it was bad. It was why it was a big deal. The Xbox was getting an exclusive game from Platinum. It was like, oh wow, they're actually making in inroads in Japan, where especially at that time they had struggled to do. Yeah, I mean, like the game didn't look bad from what I remember. No, it, it. Didn't. it looks it looked pretty good. I mean, like looking at it in hindsight. I'm glad it kind of didn't launch because if it launched on the Xbox One, you know, what kind of a nightmare bug fest would this game be? Because, like, this game tried to be a lot of things into a very, very, like, bad console at the same time. Yeah. Uh, it was New also, like, very... Well, that's that's what they were trying to do, actually. This was actually a game that was built on the cloud. Like, a lot of the research... Mm -hmm. It was, like, supposed to be Crackdown, uh, mm -hmm. where they tried to push Azure and the gaming space, uh, which, you know, we could say, you know what we sort of already know, which is that that Platinum wasn't utilizing their resources efficiently, um, whether it was money and development <laughs> well, nice resources. Way to say it. 
Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure also, Phil's I mean, going back to the board to ask for money for this for this game, and he's like, he's like, well, yeah, you want to make well, this game Well, we know that Platinum wasn't utilizing their resources efficiently. Um, and, well, we heard that you know they stole hundreds of millions. Well, we know they weren't using the resources efficiently, but I'd really like to give them another hundred million dollars to finish this game. Gamers are gonna love it. Gamers have loved it so much of how much of our money went into Near Automata. We put it on Game Pass and we got our money back. <laughs> Which was a great game, so it all panned out. What if they got like Near on Game Pass for free? <laughs> they didn't have uh, to pay any publishing for it. Square has been particularly stingy to Xbox these last few years, too, for like no apparent reason, too. Because for a while they were kind of like going more in and now they seem to have gotten like some cold feet again i wonder if it's because yeah. xbox cut off the the uh, money laundering that was happening to platinum games well i think also because the money laundering is now between them and sony i mean like clearly a lot of the yeah. square profiles going straight to, to playstation which honestly isn't exactly new i mean like no. i feel like square and sony have always been super tight with each other yes two days um, they were like hand in yeah. hand i will feed you baby i will feed you later um but uh you know, it, it's it's interesting to see what will what will happen uh, with with this rumor uh, for for scale bound. I I I want it to be true. You know, I will never say Thank no you. to like a new game, right? Especially yeah. to one that actually looks like it had some promise. Yeah, I would love to see because Platinum has had issues, and the rumor is that a lot of those issues are are financial that they're struggling for money. I I, I would love to see Platinum given a budget so they can actually make the, the games that we know that they are capable of making and have a success. And then, ha you know, they've long had issues and Xbox has a reputation of partnering with a developer, letting them make a game. And then it comes out. If it's good enough, they buy them. So yeah. that would be huge for Xbox to, to buy platinum. And I don't think it would cost all that much money, to be honest. Yeah. Very easy buy off right there. 